An attack at a Moscow concert hall has killed at least 40 people and injured 100, Russian security services say. At least four people dressed in camouflage opened fire at Crocus City Hall in Krasnogorsk, social media video verified by the BBC shows. The roof of the concert hall where people were waiting to see a rock band is engulfed in fire and collapsing, according to Russia's state news. Russia's foreign ministry said the incident was a terrorist attack. Pictures show flames and plumes of smoke rising into the sky. TASS news agency says a third of the concert venue is on fire and the roof is almost completely ablaze. Russian media report that some people are still inside and 70 ambulance crews have been sent to the scene. The Federal Security Service, FSB, says special services are there. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova called on the international community to condemn the incident, which it called a monstrous crime. All efforts are being thrown at saving people, she added. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin said, I am sorry for the loved ones of the victims. Russian media report that 6,200 tickets had been sold for the concert where the band Picnic was due to perform. Eyewitnesses have been speaking about the attack. One man, Vitali, said he was on a balcony in the hall when he heard shots fired. We didn't know what happened at first. Then I saw some terrorists shooting people, he said. They threw some petrol bombs. Everything started burning. We were led out towards an exit. An unnamed eyewitness told Reuters, Suddenly there were bangs behind us, shots, a burst of firing, I do not know what. A stampede began, everyone ran to the escalator. Russia has tightened security at airports and stations across the channel. White House spokesman John Kirby said the images of the shooting were horrible and hard to watch. Our thoughts obviously are going to be with the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack, he said. The U.S. Embassy in Russia warned earlier this month that extremists had imminent plans for an attack in Moscow. The shooting comes days after President Vladimir Putin was re-elected for a new six-year term and amid the country's invasion of Ukraine. He has not commented on the attack. An aide to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky distanced his country from the attack. Kindly like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section.